The faithful are being called to prayer. And a man in the robes of a Shia Muslim cleric leads the namaz. This is happening in downtown Yerevan, the Armenian capital. Today, Shia Muslims, mostly Iranians, live in Armenia. They are permanent residents, traders, embassy staff, holiday goers, and others just come and go. Today's community of Muslims in Armenia don't all associate with the mosque or with Iranian cultural institutions, but classes take place at the mosque, where attendees can learn Farsi and participate in cultural events. Other cultural centers exist, and there is even a school for children of Iranian embassy staff. Mahmoud Movahedi Far is the Imam of the mosque. He is from the Iranian holy city of Rom and has served as Imam in Armenia for five years. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. I am Mahmoud Movahedi Far from Islamic Republic of Iran in Qom city. I have been here as Imam for four years and I with my family are living here and this is my job to come to mosque and do the prayers in Jama'ah and take make speeches on Islamic issues. Mova Hedifar's sermon, which he delivers every Friday and on religious holidays like Muharram and Ramadan, is attended by people from Africa, Iran and South Asia. Some of the attendees are adherents of Sunni Islam, as no Sunni mosque exists in Armenia. The sermon is delivered in three languages, Farsi, Arabic and also in English, for foreign attendees. We have many, many gathering during the year, Ashura, in, I mean Muharram period, we have one month as Ramadan period, we do our worship, we do our duties among Allah, God Almighty, without any problem. And we have a good relationship with our neighbors that they are Armenian and Christian. And as you know, this nice and beautiful mosque, it's Iranian mosque, about 260, more than 260 years ago, Iranian government at that time built this mosque by Iranian culture. And um, I think there were more than six or seven other mosques in the Yerevan. We didn't have any problem during these four years that I have been lived here. Inside the city, inside the country, we didn't feel any problem as a Muslim or as a Shia. So we feel freedom 100% in the Armenia. In 1604, the Persian king Shah Abbas conquered the Arartian plains and beat back the Ottomans. Persian rule over Armenians continued for more than 200 years until in 1828, the Treaty of Turkmenchai was signed between Persia and Russia. Yerevan and most of modern-day Armenia was handed from Shah to Tsar, but echoes of that Iranian era remain. Some mosques were demolished or converted into buildings with other functions during the Tsarist era. The Abbas Mirza Mosque, for example, was converted by Russian imperial troops into an arsenal. The transformation of Yerevan in the 20th century began after the Russian conquest. Mosques were operating at that time. There were seven to eight mosques in Yerevan. Under the Tsarist government, two of the mosques were already non-functioning. During the Soviet era, there were some mosques. Others disappeared, like the Armenian churches in Yerevan. As a result of Soviet urban planning, Yerevan transformed into what it looks like today. Due to Soviet state atheism policies, most mosques and churches met sorry fates. 
The Soviets demolished a chapel that stood where the opera house is now. Another church existed where the Moscow cinema is. And there is even a rather large church, the St. Gregory the Illuminator Church, which was by Republic Square, all within 300 meters of each other. And these are just three of them. Many mosques too stopped being active and became derelict. The Blue Mosque is the one that remains.